Hello, and welcome to Insomnia, aka Project Zomboid. And in this video, I will see if I can survive without sleeping once. The rules are pretty straightforward, no sleeping in any bed, resting and relaxing is okay. As long as we don't press this button right here, we will be all good. Now without further ado, let's make our character. We will be a security guard. High thirst, smoker, wakeful, cat's eyes, slow reader, and fit. This is our character. Now, let the challenge begin. Getting coffee and anything that reduces fatigue is going to be important. Man, I got like nothing in this spawn. This is going to be one interesting challenge. When your character's tired, they lose their capabilities of doing things. Which is not good. So yeah, getting coffee is going to be a lifesaver. Move away from that door. Wear these jeans for some protection. Tweezers. Bourbon. Hooray. And a mug. Coffee is my best friend. Turn off this radio. Give me that battery. A suit jacket. Nice. Disinfectant. Painkillers. What the f I am so embarrassed right now. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Guess I am being a little bit careless. Let's disinfect that. Throw on a little bandage. And we'll be a-okay. Nice hard hat. I will take that. And your watch. This is not worth looting. That house is burnt to the ground. Ooh, a tie. Okay. Do not try and jump scare me. Nice jacket. I'll wear that instead of this suit. Why are there so many zombies? Holy crap. They all want a piece of me. On the search for coffee. I'll get rid of my old one. This one's got a hole in it. Can opener. Marshmallows. No coffee. Got some pretty good stuff in here. Could make a Molotov. I got the key for something, but I don't know what. I got the key for this taxi. And a map of Riverside. Hey, it's got gas. That's pretty good. I'll mark this on the map. Still no coffee. This is probably going to be extremely hard to find. But hey, on the bright side, we can stay on the move. We don't need to waste time sleeping at a house. Leather jacket? I will wear that. Oh crap, I just walked into something. That guy's got a nice helmet. Kinda want that. So I'm gonna go get it. Boom, pair of scissors and a riding helmet. I like that more than this hard hat. Please let this home have coffee. Crowbar. Any coffee here? No. Oh man. Some thread and vitamins. That's kind of useful. Some more thread. Another needle. Oh, this is a survivor zombie. Hello. I'll take that bandana. Let's get rid of this crowbar. I want to use the spiked bat. No coffee. Damn. There is a juice box. So I'll drink that. And I'll eat some of the sugar. Oh, nice. Duffel bag. This is going to be weird. I'm not used to being outside during the night. I just got one shot. I'm going to read this magazine on cars. Still no coffee. Oh, it's getting dark out. I'll haul out the flashlight. Hello, zombies. This house has literally nothing in it. Somehow we haven't gotten tired yet, which is good. Denim shirt. Chocolate. Yum. More vitamins. Looks like our wound is all cleared up. What's that? Let's loot that place. Okay, that is a lot of zombies. You know what? Never mind. Let's not loot that. That's too dangerous. Just got a skill and light footed. You can't tell me that no one has coffee. Whoa, okay. Probably should have door flashed, but you know. 
whatever some leather gloves some more thread sleep is for the weak and these zombies are weak got another car key i'll even take tea at this point no gas damn why are there so many right there what okay that's i'm not doing that the drowsiness is starting to set in. We gotta find some coffee quick. We'll eat up these vitamins for now. Oh, crap. The sun's coming up a bit. Let's have some peanut butter for breakfast. You know what? I just had an idea. While we still have some energy left we can use our molotov and we can clear out that little plaza that i seen i'm gonna eat up the rest of these vitamins and we'll get to work clearing out the place all right let's round some of them up there's a restaurant there might be coffee in there and a video store we can get some free skills now this group is going to take a bit of time to clear with just using fire but the positive thing about it is that we don't have to do anything herd them around here and we'll be fine Okay, lure them into the fire. Big fire, big fire. Yes, yes, burn. Now we just gotta be careful to not walk into the fire because that would be pretty bad if we died like that. How is this fire still burning? Holy crap. How does it spread on pavement? That makes no sense. And also another good thing about this is that it's really quiet, which means zombies from other areas won't get lured in while we deal with the ones here. There's a survivor zombie in there. Oh, they're starting to die off now. Yep, there they go. I mean, this is just too easy. Burn. Well, looks like we're not looting that zombie. He's now ash. Oh well. Fire's probably the best way to deal with zombies. This just made my life a whole lot easier. And that's it. All done. Honestly, that didn't even really take that long. And you know what? To celebrate, let's have a cigarette. Perfection. Could you imagine if we died now? That would be sad. Refill our water bottle. There's nothing in there. Go flash cameras and film development. Ah, uh, there's nothing in here but cameras. What is this? Some kind of security office or something? Waste of time. Let's loot this restaurant. Let's hope there's coffee. That would be amazing. Coffee! Yes! There's two of them. And there's a tea bag as well. Goodbye fatigue. Is there any bourbon? Yes, there is. I'd like to make some more Molotovs. Another lighter. Some more ciggies. Yeah, other than that, I don't really need anything else from this store. I know for a fact this is going to be worth my time. Oh yeah, look at all those VHSs. And there's a TV. So you know what? I think I'm going to spend some time and get some skills. I'm going to loot this place. Then we're going to get to the skill grind. Getting a bit drowsy again. Holy crap, look at all these skills. We have episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of Carpentry. Episodes 2, 3, 4, 5 for the cook show. An episode for the fitness club. Episodes 2, 5, 7, and 8 for exposure survival. That is awesome. Oh, and there's even more back here. Exposure survival 6. And that's it. Nice. We just got a skill in Long Blanc. We should probably go into a home, rest up, and make a cup of coffee. Let's fill up our mug, add our tea, and then we'll put our cup of tea into the oven. Reduces 15, reduces 15 fatigue. And that's our drowsiness gone. And you know what? I'm feeling pretty good. Let's wash our clothes. Milk and more. Drinks, food, lottery. Oh, we got some more coffee. There's nothing really in there other than food. We don't really need that right now. Now I think it's time to go pick up that car and then we'll drive up somewhere and watch all of our VHSs. Okay, we made it to the car. Now let's get out of here. This looks like a good spot. We can't exactly go far. We don't have a lot of gas, so this will have to do. Ooh, a hiking bag. This place doesn't even have a TV. Hold on, I'm gonna go rob one for my neighbor. Literally none of my neighbors had the right TV. So I had to come all the way down to the video store just to pick up the TV. And I'm gonna drop my TV right here. Perfect. All right, let's get to watching these tapes. Let's start off watching Woodcraft. There's our first level in carpentry. 
Our skills would go up a lot quicker if we had books, but I can't be bothered to grab them. And we're all done with carpentry. Let's make some coffee. Actually, instead of making it, let's just eat it. Yeah, that probably tastes terrible, but at least we're not tired. Now let's watch the cook show. We're all done with the cooking show now. Now let's watch some exposure survival. All right, we're done watching all of the skill VHSs. Now let's finish off with Simon's Fitness Club. We learned a lot from those VHSs, and I think we've gotten our answer. And that is yes, you can survive in Project Zomboid without sleeping. As long as you have things that reduce fatigue, there's no need to sleep. Anyways, if you have any ideas for a video in the future, please let me know, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.